hey, it's look what the cat dragged in. And I went outside with my butterfly net and I was catching grasshoppers or whatever else I could find. And I actually managed to catch a large, beautiful butterfly. So I'm gonna get it out and if I can, well, I'll show it to you in the pen. It's an eastern tiger swallowtail. We have them all the time. They get killed by cars and splattered on your window. And and it's, it's kind of sad, but um, I managed to catch this one without probably harming it. Now I'm going to see if I can get him out on my hand. Him, her, I don't know. Actually, I think it is a him based on something I read about blue scales. Here is Eastern Tiger Swallowtail and um, Fluttershy, whose mark is actually butterflies. Here, sit up there. You can't really see her? Oh, there you go. Nice hat, Fluttershy. Um, I'm going to put him up. Nope. Oh! He escaped. Okay, I gotta get him. Be right back. You know, the butterfly escaping, I pretty much saw that coming. Yet I did it anyway. Fun fact, they will fly directly at lights, much like moths. So, um, anyways, for those of you who enjoyed the previous installment of the adorable tiny lizard entitled Tiny Skink, here is a tinier skink measures two inches long it is a coal skink at least I'm pretty sure um, it's kinda hard to tell when they're this small this young he only has three legs I don't know what happened he's stumpy now but I swear he was like that when I found him and um, he's got this coppery color on his back and a stripe that goes down and he, it looks like gr just gray, but he has like this intricate little pattern. And um, you can see another world when you stare into his tiny, tiny eyes. They're so tiny. His eyes are so tiny. A pin would be too big to poke him with. Not that I would poke him with a pin. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how tiny they are. But, um, but... It's just the most darling little thing.